Yo, 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 welcome back to Mongo Vip Biz part two on Exact the Pram. In other words, Lexapro. But, uh, yeah, I want to get straight back in because I was talking about it in my last video and I want to carry on talking about Lexapro. Um, so, where I was, well, I'll pick up quickly from where I was in my last video. Basically, to speed things up, is when you take the drug, they block block off the receptor sites in the brain where there's a normal current flow going on and they block certain receptors in that part of the brain called the synapse and in the synapse when they block off that certain chemical the serotonin just stays in the synapse continuously going around in a cycle and that's how it builds up um, this drug over time but what happens is sometimes you hear people saying that they get burnout or the drug stops working that's because in the synapse all it's doing sometimes is going round and round and round and that's why some people say it's like taking cocaine or it's like taking ecstasy because you get the same effect when you're trying to withdraw and it's true because when you withdraw when you do withdraw you do get the same effects it is like a cocaine addict it's like trying to withdraw so much it's like crazy but I found a great solution to, to withdraw off these things so in the last video I was talking about kind of the positive side and the negative side so I'm going to touch on the negative side a bit uh, the negative side is like I said before there should be one milligram two milligram three milligram four milligram tablets which there isn't there's only five ten twenty milligram tablets so when you go down when you're down to five milligrams people just tell me oh the doctor said you should just stop and I'm thinking really and I so I went I actually came home and I tried it and I would never do it again because the right I learned there's a way around it what you do is if you've got a five milligram tablet I wish I had one to show you if you have a five milligram tablet all you've got to do is get a small knife and if you can't cut down the middle again kind of do another bit another bit and another bit and eventually you'll find you're off it you won't even notice that you're off it like for example um, when I came off it I had a five milligram tablet and I cut it just a little bit off the end and I stayed on that for two days to three days then I did it again did that for two to three days then I did it again the same on until you're literally left with a little dot and I know what the next question would be is what about if I'm taking capsules interesting and if it isn't Lexapro and it's another drug like Effexa or something like that which I'm going to touch on in another video the SNRI video which I'm going to do but if if you um, pull open the capsule there's loads of dots that's where all your medication is in and I actually had to I can't mention the name and I won't go into it but I actually helped someone come off their antidepressant because they really wanted to get off it they felt like a zombie they were on it for the wrong reasons and everything else and they just really wanted to get off it but their doctor actually told them just to stop and oh my god this person I will not mention just completely lost it and I came along and I just because I knew what the withdrawal was like I just came along and I helped him and we did dots day by day we took one dot so we opened the capsule took a dot away she took the rest in a bowl she just had it with some orange juice and we did it every single day until she was off it or you can do it every two to three days if you're a lightweight like myself I would advise take your time there's no rush you see what the problem is is people are in a rush to get off it and then they're like their brain has gone into a meltdown there's no rush there's plenty of time it's okay you know you're gonna win the battle depression will not win the war you will win the war this you can win you can beat it in the end that's the way we can see it I hope and you know with the Lexapro I yeah I do I have to admit I never I personally never ever wanted to go on an SSRI ever but I found myself going on this one and it was the best thing I ever did 
and it took me a long time to real realize I was depressed ages ago and I could say a lot more I'll say a few things I was so bad that I wasn't even washing I wasn't I wasn't doing anything my brain I just wasn't there I just wanted I just couldn't care about life basically but it's all good now and if you're scared or you're hesitant about mm, should do it like or you're getting someone else is saying to you you seem depressed to me what can I go she should try going on a job maybe give Lex a pro a try it's one of the lighter ones or go for therapy maybe that's a better option for you maybe that will help but this definitely helped for me um, I can't lie and say I didn't help myself because I was a big drinker I drank a lot smoked a lot you know what kids want to do in their late 20s and stuff so and now I'm straight edge straight edge don't drink don't smoke don't do nothing so in part three I'm going to talk about a mixture of pros and cons and then that's at least I've done my take on Lexapro so thank you for watching Vipis